Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Savell, and I'd like to encourage you to please watch Dr. Lawrence Kennedy and his lovely wife Coral on Family and Friends, a great anointed television broadcast that will bless your life. And listen, if you're ever in Carrollton, Texas, why don't you please make your plans to join them at the North Church, a powerful church. The anointing of God is here, and praise God, you'll find out that you'll be loved, you'll be enriched, and God will bless you greatly. Once again, Dr. Lawrence Kennedy, his wife Coral, at the North Church. Don't miss this opportunity for a great blessing in your life. Coming to you from Dallas, Texas, The North Church brings you powerful and practical answers to life. With Pastor Lawrence and Coral Kennedy. And now, Family and Friends with Lawrence and Coral. Hallelujah, it's going to be a great night here on Family and Friends. We know that as you stay with us tonight, the Lord is going to bless your life. We know it in Jesus' name. We've been praying for you and praying that whatever it is that you need, that you would hear a key tonight. This is your day. This is the day that the Lord has made. made. We will rejoice Joyce. and be glad, glad in, it. in it. And you may look around and go, well, that's fine for you. You have a lot to rejoice right. over, but you should see what I am living in. Well, let me tell you, rejoicing <laughs> in the Lord does not take everything to be perfect around that's us. A fact. It is rejoicing and celebrating who Jesus He is. Jesus Christ. And that's what this program is about. It's good news. We're celebrating Jesus Christ because He is our everything. Tonight we're going to be talking about how we, when we seek God's kingdom first <laughs> and His righteousness, all these things shall that's be added to us. Everything we need. Jesus Christ is everything we need. We're going to be discussing this and I know if you've been battling depression, fear, there's been torment, torment coming your way, that God is going to answer your prayers. You're going to begin to sense His peace, His victory in your life, and I'm telling you, it is truly a prayer way. We have some great anointed prayer partners that are ready to pray for you, pray that your miracles happen, that your turnaround begins, that that stressful situation that you've been dealing with will begin to be made peaceful in the name of Jesus. We invite you to call right now. It's a free call. Plus, when you call, we have our free giveaway. Are You 100% Sure is a great tool to use to witness and it's how you can witness to anyone within three minutes or less and get, them saved. and get them saved you can call loved ones up on the phone help them find the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior harvest prayers it tells you how to pray and then are you 100% sure when you use this you'll find that people will start listening to you right. and you'll begin to communicate the Lord Jesus Christ and people will come and get saved. Well, we've seen this happen all over the world. People just give their heart to Jesus Christ. It's a powerful, powerful message and in this harvest prayer and also this are you 100% sure. You know, God is so good. God cares about you. We have experienced it in our life, how he's helped us in many difficult situations. When we begin to pray to him, God, help me. He comes and gives us what we need at that moment. He'll do the same for you tonight. If you have a need in your life, and you need to turn to Jesus and say, Jesus, help me right now. And I promise you, I know because I've prayed many times and he's come to me, he'll do the same for you because he loves you. That's what family and friends is all about. That's why Coral and I come on this program from the North Church in our studio here to tell you that Jesus will answer prayer if you'll just ask him. He'll reach down and touch you in your need. No matter what you're going through, you'll find that he'll give you an answer because Jesus really cares about you. We know this. We've experienced it. And so we're here to share this hope with you tonight. Believe me. And call in for the harvest prayer. And are you 100% sure? Because I believe it'll be a blessing to you tonight. In the name of the Lord. I really believe that, It's Coral. harvest time. It's harvest it time. It's the time to see people saved here 
in right. Dallas, also in Denver and Scottsdale and in Atlanta, Atlanta and Houston, Houston, all over the country, people <laughs> to come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Absolutely, and um, the reason why I laughed, it was like we were choreographed there, but we have calls from um, the Houston area, and we're praying for you. I mean, that so many calls from the Houston I, area. I hear we have a lot of friends in Houston that are watching our program. People are telling me yes. from Houston, my pastors that know me, Right. they tell me that a lot of people are enjoying this program. We're so glad that you're watching family and friends. Call us. And I used to live in Houston, so I am a flight uh, Houstonian. One time for Delta Airlines. That's right. I stole her off. No, I didn't. But, um, <laughs> you know, it, it's a wonderful place. And then also, we have a lot of friends in the Phoenix area, yes, and they are watching, and we want to say thank you for watching in Phoenix, in Arizona. We have people from Massachusetts and California calling in, and we want to say to the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, mm. we are so glad that you support family and friends, that you watch, you pray with us, and let me tell you, there is power in prayer. The reason why we have our prayer partners and the number on the screen about prayer is because prayer truly mm. does work. work. <laughs> there really is a God in heaven that is waiting to hear you ask Him for help. Tell Him your desires and your needs. Tell Him your hurting breaking heart. Tell them whatever it is that concerns you. Maybe you have a child that um, yes, you really, ma'am. really want them to serve God yes. and they're going in the opposite direction. Yeah. We've got a, a testimony we might share later on today that will really encourage you, but let me tell you, God is going to send it to you. He's sending it down, His power, His strength, and you need to watch as we share the North Church Choir singing, send it on down. It's wonderful, and that joy and, of the Lord is going to come. And we want that power to come to you, so yes. watch this, and we'll be back with more of Family and Friends.
God, let the power of the Holy Ghost come down upon it us. It has to. Now. Right. In this studio, in, in your home, in a motel, wherever you're at. May the Holy Ghost come and touch you tonight and help you be refreshed. Because He's a good God and He cares about you. He wants to help you to solve any problems. He wants to be your friend. Jesus wants to be your friend. And that's what family and friends is all about. We understand that Jesus is our friend, and we want to pass it on to you, and he'll become your friends, and he will help you in whatever you're facing. If you're out there and you're watching this program, you say, I got a problem that's too big for me, Pastor Kennedy. I promise you that Jesus is bigger than any problem you could have if you'll just turn to him and say, Jesus, help me right now. And just begin to ask him. And he'll begin to come and touch your life and give you the Holy Ghost. He'll let you be filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. And you will be changed by his power. Not by your power, but by his power. Why don't you call on him right now? And then call us. Call my prayer partners right now. Let us pray for you because I believe something good is going to happen to you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Because I believe in that name. And I know that he will help you because he's helped Coral and I so many times. That's right, because we have definitely, as it says in Matthew 7, 7, we've asked, we have sought God. That sought God. And we have knocked Not. on that door by prayer. And listen what it says in verse 8. For everyone who asks, receives. Why do we say, call the number on the screen, get someone to pray for your needs? Because we know that there is truly power in prayer. We invite you to call. It's a free call. Remember our free giveaway that we are sending out. We want you to have our harvest prayer. And are you 100% sure? Please call and get that and get prayer. Because everyone who asks, receives. He who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it shall yeah. be opened. What door has been shut? What, what destiny do you feel has been blocked? God wants to open that door. And the way you get him to open the door is keep knocking, keep asking, because he will answer prayer because he loves you. And you need to know that. You need to know you haven't blown it too bad. God isn't mad at you. He wants to help you. He loves you. And he will do it on your behalf. I mean, please call right now and remember our free giveaway. Wow. That was a marvelous statement, Coral. If people will just seek God, they will get an answer. If they knock persistently, they will get Him to turn to them and help them in their yes. serious situation. This is, this is Ask, Seek, and Knock, a sermon I preached at the church. And then, Coral, I'll be back with more of Family and Friends. Watch this. In verse 7 of Matthew 7, it says this, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. Isn't that nice? For everyone who asks, received, and he who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it shall be opened. Of what man is there among you, in verse 9, who, if his son asks for bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things, good things, Good things, good things to those who asked him. I heard a story about a young man who was being taught by a teacher. The teacher took him down to a lake. And they waded out into the lake about almost shoulder deep. And they were out in the lake and all of a sudden the teacher reached up and grabbed the student by the head. And he pushed his head underwater and held his head underwater for a few moments. Then all of a sudden, a frantic expression happened inside of the student and he pushed himself up. 
And all of a sudden he said, what are you doing to me, teacher? What were you doing to me? What were you trying to make me sick, drown me? What were you doing? And all of a sudden the teacher looked at him and said, you see, son, when you desire God as much as you desire air, you will find him. If you really desire God as much as you desire air, you will find him. Everybody in this room that is alive want air. Do you want God that much? You see, God is trying to teach us to come to a place in the God school of prayer that we understand something that when we're feeling like we're put down, being pushed down, and we're under the water, when you want God as much as you want air, then you will get a miracle. And God wants to do this for you. God wants our desires to outweigh our pressures that problems bring on us. We desire Him. We desire Him with all our heart. We resist the pressures and then we push ourselves to Him. The pressures upon us, situations upon us, problems are upon us. But all of a sudden, something inside of us says, I must push myself to God. And I start doing some things right. I asked, I seek, and I knock. And then I get my miracle. Jesus knew how to ask, seek, and knock. He was always praying all the time. And he was always praying to the Father because he asked, he sought, and he discovered because God always honored him. He practiced, practiced the presence of, of God all the time. And we've got to have this deep inside of us. Jesus needed the Father like a student needs air. Jesus needed the Father as much as a student that needs air. Do you need Jesus as much as you need air? And right now you're breathing. But do you really want Jesus as much as you want air? Nothing can stop you from seeking God when you really want Him that bad. John 15, 3 and 7 says, If you remain in me and follow my teachings, you can ask anything you want, and it shall be given to you. Now that's the Word of God. It's not something that I'm making up. That's what the Word of God says. And let me tell you, the Word of God is true. And it is powerful, and it will always accomplish what God sends it to accomplish. And He wants to hear your prayers. And He wants you to remain in Him and abide in Him. And when you abide in Him, when you have your spirits full by hearing good preaching and teaching and praying and reading his word, I'm telling you, you can ask what you will and it shall be done to you. And that's why we are so excited that people from uh, Aurora, Colorado are calling in and John from Persall, Texas and Cindy from Phoenix called in and she called for prayer for restoration of her marriage. She called back to let us know prayer works. Her husband has returned home. Praise God. I mean, that is so exciting. I'm telling you, God is alive, and he loves you, and he cares about everything that you are facing. Now, Jerry from Denver, Colorado called in two weeks ago, and we prayed for a job for him. He had been out of a job for 14 months. We prayed on Thursday, and he got a job offer that following Monday. I mean, that's part of that knocking and knocking and seeking. Remember, when you seek God first and His righteousness, then all these other things, whether it's restoration in your marriage or your finances, shall be done to you. Please remember our Harvest Prayer, our free giveaway, as we take you into part two of Ask, Seek, and Knock. We'll be right back. God bless you. You've got to be able to say this with all your heart. Father knows best. Everybody say that out loud. Father knows best. Then when you begin to seek, listen, and you shall find. Yes, you're asked. Then when you begin to seek, you shall what? 
fine. The Hebrew word means this. It means to seek, means to worship. When you really begin to seek, it means to worship, go after, seek after. You begin to go to God. In the English, it means to endeavor, to obtain, to go forward. I need you. Yes, I asked. Then I worship. Then I press into it. And I say, no, Lord, I know you're going to help me. I know that you answer prayers. If you're sick in your body today, if you ask and you seek, if you cry with all your heart, help. Then you begin to worship with all your heart. You're starting to knock. I like the verse found in Psalms 42, verses 1 and 2. The Living Bible says it this way, As a deer pants for water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God, the living God. Where can I find him? Where can I stand before him? Wow, I need you. You know, deers live in high places. They live in high places. Sometimes 16,000 feet they live. But in the summertime, they're going to look for water. Let me tell you something. Some of you need water today. You need it with all your heart. And if you don't find water, you're going to thirst to death. You need God deep down inside you like the teacher with the boy's head underwater. And the little boy said, I can't take this anymore. I'm drowning. And he uses his strength to push up. And the old teacher looked at him and said, when you want God as much as you want air, you're going to live. Oh, Cora, that Good was preaching. a wonderful message because yeah. learning how to persist, yeah. staying with it, just keep knocking. Don't give Don't up. Don't stop. Keep knocking on that door. Jesus is standing at the door waiting to come into your life to help you. If you'll just keep on knocking, 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 and all of a sudden you will get an answer from the Lord Jesus Christ because he's standing there saying, will they keep knocking? Will they keep seeking? Will they keep asking so I can answer, help them in their problem? If you'll just say, I will not stop. I will have faith. I will keep pressing into Jesus. You will find he'll give you an answer starting tonight. We want to be your friends. He wants to be your friends. Call my prayer partners and let us pray for you tonight. Because something good is starting in your life. I just feel it by the Holy Ghost. God is going to start doing something. A miraculous, miraculous help is coming to you right now as I speak to you. Because Carl and I, we both know with all our heart how God will always answer, answer prayer. And we want you to get your answer tonight. You know, as you were talking about being persistent and not giving up, and I immediately thought of your mother. That's true. who was a praying woman, a godly woman, and she had a prodigal son. This prodigal son was out all night doing everything he knew Called that he Buster. shouldn't do. Oh. His name was Buster. And Buster was known in the city that he lived in as being like one of the worst, most likely to not succeed in the entire now region. Wife, now, why is she bringing these things up? On well, your mother kept knocking and kept persisting in prayer. Yeah. And then one night, you were in Dallas, Texas, in fact. That's and what true. happened? Tell them. Well, well, one of the things happened. There was a man looking for a friend of mine that ended up in prison, looking for him with a gun. He broke into the house. He pulled a gun. He pulled a gun on me, pointed it at me, and asked me my name. My name was not Mike. It was Buster. And one of the people there says, don't shoot him. It's not Mike. I really realized right at that moment that he could have took my life took my life that day and he just looked at me, smiled at me, put his gun back under his coat and walked out. I could have died that day. It was day, a Carl. sawed off shotgun and it, tell him where it was put. Underneath his coat. And a little no, bit no, of, no, in your face. 
Right in my face. Right in my face. It was right in very, his nose. He was ready to blow his I head off. I was a young it. boy, didn't know much, and almost lost my life. Thank God that but Jesus your, had grace on me. But your mother was praying. My mom knocked all the time. And then at that same moment, he gets a call from his brother in California who said, preacher. I've been praying for you and my church has been praying for you. This is right after the gun was stuck in his face and said, if you go to Dallas Fort Worth Airport, I've got a ticket for you. Get you out of there. To get you out of the situation. And it changed, and my, and it changed my life. I ended up You got going saved. And, I went to California, got saved, ended up in Canada, spent seven years there, began to get some education in the Bible. And now 30, one or 32 years later, I'm a preacher of this great church, not mixed up boy. God has done a miracle in my life. And Carl, that's a, that's a marvelous story that you brought up tonight. It and is. And the, the point is, is it looked like the, I mean, if your mother would have known all of the events taking place. She didn't know Here nothing. she is praying that God will save her son. And what happens? A gun stuck in his face. Looks like he's going to die. But through that horrific experience, it was the very thing that propelled him to God. Now, this is my Scared point. Scared me real bad. My point is, is that most of the time when we think something is horrible and it can't get any worse and it seems like it does, God is just on the very verge of answering your prayers and a miracle is about to take place. And that's why the devil is always trying to get us to throw in the towel, give up, so that we don't see that prayer answered. And I'm telling you, God wants to answer your prayers. We're going to be praying for you tonight. We're going to be praying for you yes. even after we go off the air. God bless you. This is family and friends. We love you. Carl, why don't you pray for these? Sure. Jesus, I thank you for every person that has responded yes, to your Lord. word, to your voice, not our voice. If you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we invite you to join us at the North Church for services on Sunday at 8 o'clock and 10.30 a.m. and Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m. The North Church is located at 1615 West Buffline Road in Carrollton, just one half mile west of Interstate 35. Church on the Rock North, doing business as the North Church, is a nonprofit 501c corporation and is independently reviewed quarterly by Gwyn Smith & Company to meet IRS compliance. Family & Friends is a North Church production.